Okay, starting at 5 p.m., two games being played at the same time. Egypt against Saudi Arabia at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> On their way out. Cairo Express, you may have to na ya Saudi pia. Ya yeah, Saudi si jidi gani? Eh hey, inaitwa Saudi. Saudi. Yeah. Ibiwaka pia. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, apart from that another top game is going to be between Uruguay and Russia to determine who's going to top the group. So far, six points for each. Uh, Russia with a better goal difference. They are the host against the toughest opponent they are now going to face in this World Cup. Oscar Tabarez with the head coach for the Uruguay side is going to be without defender Jose Jimenez. No African will want to hear that name because the man who scored that only goal for Uruguay against uh, that is Egypt in the first match. He suffered a thigh injury so he's going to be out and uh, Russia going to still be without uh, their midfielder that's Alan Dago. It's Russia have lost each of the last four World Cup meetings with South American side, just scoring once. So Leo, Randa Kujua Mbivu Nambichi, if Russia are that good, oh, they're going to take the advantage of them being the host and the home crowd support for them to beat Uruguay. So from there, we look at the 9 p.m. matches, Portugal against Iran. This is worrying news for Portugal because Joe Motino is a doubt. He's, mit, uh, he's mistraining in the last uh, few days uh, through illness. Then Rafael Guerrero has recovered from a minor leg injury. He's going to be available for tonight's match against Iran. But Portugal have won three of their last four World Cup games against Asian opposition. It is not going to be an easy game for Portugal, but they have to win with a big margin just to avoid a finishing second because if you finish second, chances are that you play the host. But the tough opponent, uh, like Uruguay, no one will want to play uh, Luis Suarez and Edinson Cavani, especially if your team is over-relying on Cristiano Ronaldo. Spain are going to be without a goalkeeper, Pepe Reina, the second goalkeeper. is a doubt. He suffered a thigh injury in training. The Nacho has recovered from a minor problem and is going to be available for tonight's game. And remember, he's not a fast starter, but he is a very important when it comes to a backup to the likes of Gerald Pique and Sergio Ramos. Koke is hoping that's going to be recalled after being dropped in favor of Lucas Vasquez in their win against Iran. So basically, thus, that is the team news for this evening matches. Once again, 5 p.m., it is Uruguay versus Russia, and then Saudi Arabia against Egypt at 9 p.m., Portugal, Iran, at the same time, Spain up against Morocco. Jeff, which team are you supporting tonight? Twende or Twekele, my bet? Twekele. Egypt, Saudi Arabia at the airport. <laughs> Any transit scores. You know what? Maybe Mo Salah will, will come out with a bang. No, no. I'm going with Egypt. Egypt. Egypt will win. 4-0. Jalas. <laughs> <laughs> Egypt again? Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Oh, man. At the Saudi airport. Saudi Arabia, what? <laughs> yeah. By Both the way, of their planes are on. Yeah. By the way, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and also, when they reach back home, they will find out that women, mm. for the very first time in Saudi history, mm. women oh. are allowed to drive. I'm telling you. From Saturday, isn't it? Yes. Saturday yeah, afternoon. Saturday. So, Warudi uh, Nyumbani Araka. <laughs> Because the amount of accidents that will be on the highway. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uruguay versus Russia. Oh, home crowd I'm advantage. I'm going with Uruguay. Home crowd advantage. I'm going with Uruguay. And you know, Russia is on a roll, huh? Yeah, they are. But this is the toughest opponent they're facing now. This is the real test. I say 1-1. One, one. Let's see how this one goes. What do you think? Uh, Russia will still win. You, yeah, you say yeah. Russia. Huh? Yeah. I'm yeah. going with Home Uruguay. Advantage. Uruguay. Okay. I right, 9 p.m. Portugal against to run. Ooh. Listen, Portugal. Port- Portugal has four points, yeah. right? Yes. The, the 11 points with Spain on everything, by the way. Oh, okay. actually, Spain are on top of the table because of um, goal difference. No, mm. less yellow cards. Yellow card. Less yellow card. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Portugal, Iran. That's a Portugal. route. It's a route. Yeah. You Nikama. This is the by chance they, for. Ronaldo to move ahead, to move ahead uh, yes. and uh, puts a strong bid. Are you saying a hat trick sort of or yes. brace? Put a b- strong bid for the Golden Boot. Yeah. <laughs> so four one Portugal. <laughs> they two nil Portugal. Okay. I'm going with the two nil. So, okay. Portugal have disappointed the previous game against Morocco. We expect to Tandike mm. Morocco, but too happy. Then Morocco versus Spain. Mm. This is I'm seeing goals. <laughs> I'm seeing goals. It's a gold rush. I'm going with uh, Spain win around three nil. You say Diego yeah, Spain, Costa Spain. Yeah. once again to three, three one Spain three one Spain Spain win. So the only thing you are disagreeing with you guys, ni Uruguay, so, Uruguay, yeah. And so the Arabia, Egypt, I'm going for a draw. You are? Uh? Yeah. You going for a draw? A draw. So the Arabia, Egypt, I'm going for a draw. Mo Salah. Yeah. <laughs> a draw. 
Salah. Even if, if I'm the Egyptian head coach, I will not play more Salah. I'll give him time to recover for next season. Because <laughs> <laughs> it means nothing. Uh, <laughs> I can't. Uh, uh, I had to turn up. Oh, yeah, so what's up? In the